Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. What was the most asked question on my channel this week? Stay tuned. Thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. Y'all get a lot of questions in my comments and whenever possible, I do try to answer them, but sometimes there is such a common theme to the questions that maybe a video is the way to help answer that question. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to answer a question about this box as well as the other digitals that I have been printing and using on the channel as demonstrations. So I'm going to flip to my overhead camera because using that will give you a better view of what it is I'm talking about. So here are the two boxes that I showed in a recent video. And in that video, I printed these digitals and the digitals are available on my website if you're interested. But I had so many questions as a result of this particular video and some of the other videos that I've done, but this one in particular, because there was a lot of questions about how in the world can you make a box using copier paper? Well, the reason why I was able to make these boxes is because I did not use plain old copier paper. Most of the copier paper that I use is weighted at 20 pounds. A 20 pound weighted paper is not going to be able to make a box like this. So this week I've been making it a point to highlight that I am using a certain type of paper and that paper was listed in the description box. Some of you might have missed it. So I'm going to show you the paper that I'm using when I'm making these digitals. So I'm actually using one brand, but I'm using two separate weights and I'll explain why. So I have one that is weighted at 29 pounds and you get 100 sheets, eight and a half by 11. Now this is the one that I'm using when I'm making the pages to print envelopes because it just makes a very nice envelope and it's very easy to work with this paper. I was using regular old copier paper to print those envelopes, but what I found is I didn't get that vibrancy of color that I wanted. And I wanted a paper that was more compatible with printing digitals and laying down ink in a way that would give me the true vibrancy of the image. So what I did y'all is I turned to trusty old YouTube and I asked YouTube, what is the best paper for printing digital scrapbook paper? And several brands came up and I just decided I'd start with one and give it a try. So I only ordered one pack of each one of these. So far I've been very pleased with this brand. It is Koala Paper. It is an inkjet matte printer paper. So that's very important. Whatever printer type you have, make sure that the paper is compatible with that printer type. It says that it gives you brilliant color, it dries instantly, and it is compatible with inkjet printers. And that's exactly what I have. I have an Epson EcoTank inkjet printer. So this is fully compatible with that. And I am using this weight, like I said, to make my envelopes. Now to make the boxes, I am actually using the same brand, Koala. But this time I'm using what they're calling a double-sided matte photo paper. Now this paper does have some type of a coating on it. I don't know what that coating is, but it allows the ink to lay down on that paper beautifully. And you'll also notice that the weight changes. The weight is 48 pounds. Now that is a little bit on the lighter side for papers that I use when I'm making a box, but I was able to print this and then make it into a box. And I did go back and add some reinforcement pieces on the inside, but even if I didn't, I can still form this into a box. And the 48 pound paper is the paper that you've seen me using on all of the digitals that I have been printing this week. And you can see that rich vibrancy of color. The others that I did on just regular heavyweight or lightweight white cardstock, it soaked right into the paper and you lost a lot of the vibrancy. It just faded into the paper. So for those of you who are interested in what type paper I am using when I'm printing these printables. I am using the Koala 29 pound and 48 pound. I am going to test out a heavier weight paper to see how that will do in my printer. But what I found is that as I go higher in the weight, my printer rejects the paper. So right now 48 to 60, 65 
is the most I've been able to get my printer to accept. Now your printer might actually pull through those papers very well, but I'll have to keep playing with mine to see what it is I can get it to do and how high I can go in the weights. But I'm very satisfied with the 29 pound paper as well as the 48 pound paper. So y'all, hopefully this video helps to answer this week's most popular question. I did it with Koala inkjet paper. Non-sponsored video, but I thought I'd share what I'm using. So I hope this is helpful to some of you. If you've liked this, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.